Hello, welcome to PC Jack. Today, we me take a look into the recent rumors and discussions regarding a potential release of a Zen 3 refresh. Let's take a look at what we know so far. So, before we start this video, it's worth bearing in mind that there is no official confirmation from AMD regarding any sort of Zen 3 refresh on the way soon. Instead, the purpose of today's video is to look at the possibilities of a new Ryzen lineup, but also vice versa and being realistic and looking at the reasons why this may not actually happen. But with that consideration out of the way, let's get into it. So AMD launched their latest lineup of Ryzen 5000 series processors back in November 2020. The lineup was pretty well received with decent improvements over previous generation Zen 2 with improvements to IPC, higher clock speeds and also greater power efficiency. Sadly, getting a hold of any of these CPUs has been quite tricky since launch, but uh, thankfully the Ryzen 5 5600X and the Ryzen 7 5800X have now become a bit more widely available. However, the Ryzen 9 5900X and 5950X still seem to be in quite short supply as a filming. Now, as we don't expect to see Zen 4 debut until at least sometime in 2022, it's been widely debated on whether we will see any uh, new additions to the current Zen 3 lineup going forward for 2021. Previous generations have shown that AMD have tended to refresh their lineups over time, like they did with Zen Plus back in 2018 and also the XT series back in 2020. So it's understandable that people may have a similar expectation when it comes to Zen 3 this time around. Rumours circulating suggest a 4-7% increase in IPC performance as well as higher clock speeds. It's also been rumoured that a Zen 3 Plus lineup could also consist of APUs. We have a fair while to go until Zen 4 arrives and the new addition of a rumoured AM5 socket as well as support for DDR5 memory. It's understandable that AMD may be looking to create a certain stopgap for any existing AM4 platform owners which they have supported since 2017, although it's worth considering that they may even debut Zen 3 Plus on the new AM5 socket as well. It's also been rumoured that a Zen 3 refresh could also be on the way in order to compete with Intel's upcoming Alder Lake CPUs. So releasing a new lineup in order to remain competitive with Intel could be uh, an interesting solution on AMD's part. This could mean a quarter four launch to match Intel's Alder Lake release date. Adding to the rumour mill is the uh, announcement of the X570S chipset, which to me isn't so much indicative of a new CPU lineup on the way soon, but more of a optimised uh, version of the X570 chipset which launched back in 2019, but with the addition of Ryzen 5000 BIOS compatibility straight out of the box. Additionally, Moore's Law is Dead has reported that the S in X570S actually refers to silent, so this could mean that, much like the B550 chipset, X570S will also be passively cooled with no active chipset fan. Now the main things to consider is that none of this information is uh, officially confirmed yet and is still uh, just rumours at the end of the day. As we're in the midst of a worldwide semiconductor shortage, it does seem like it might not be quite viable to refresh any sort of lineup as of yet, unless supply catches up with demand. The fact that TSMC 7 nanometer manufacturing process is so highly in demand right now, whether it be for CPUs or GPUs or even the new consoles. Their current commitments to fulfilling these existing products could mean that uh, TSMC simply does not have the supply to uh, meet demand for any sort of refresh, especially when they're already trying to fill AMD's current allocation for silicon at the moment anyway. Additionally, with Intel's 11th gen not particularly being too competitive against the current Ryzen 5000 lineup, AMD may be less inclined to improve the performance of their current lineup unless Alder Lake does prove to be as competitive as we're expecting. As well as Rocket Lake options only going up to 8 cores and 16 threads, this could indicate that uh, AMD would be less interested in refreshing their 12 core 16 threads and higher counterparts. Especially as the Ryzen 9 CPUs we have currently aren't even uh, as in supply right now, so a high core count CPU refresh could be off the table. To be fair, AMD are yet to scale down their uh, lineup to more budget friendly options such as the previous generation's Ryzen 3 3100 or the 3300X and even at times the Ryzen 5 3600 which could be had for as little as £150 back last year. AMD could still be planning to uh, slot some more options into this uh, entry level mid range section of their lineup so that's worth considering when it comes to a Zen 3 refresh. We'll just have to wait and see I guess. Hopefully the CPU landscape improves over the year now but we'll just have to wait and see what AMD has up their sleeves. 
For now though, I'll continue to report on any of these recent rumours or discussions regarding a Zen 3 refresh, and I'll make sure to share them with you guys as soon as I know. So, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more on the way soon. If you want further reading on uh, Zen 3 refresh rumours, then uh, I will make sure to include those links in the description. Do you have any predictions on a Zen 3 refresh? Comment down below and let us know as I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.